Uh, music to my ears is the sound of a motor out on the water. It's a beautiful weekend. Joining us now is the Harbour Master for the Toronto Port Authority, Angus Young and Constable Jeff Clark from the Toronto Marine Unit. Thank you both for coming out. I know we're well into the summer, but this is really lovely weather, and we just want to talk a little bit, some reminders for people uh, who are thinking about heading out on the water. Angus, thank you very much. What are some of the things you'd like to uh, focus on down here as we head into that last month or so of boating? Well, you know, one of the new ones, the new problems come up, and it's become very evident to us, is climate change. And what we're going to see in climate change is um, we're going to see storms that are faster, storms that are stronger, and storms that come on quicker. So we're going to remind boaters, make sure you know what the weather's like. And if that weather starts to change, it starts to get to be very bad, go into a port of safety. Don't worry about getting to your home port. Just get that vessel off the water. Any port in the storm, right? The old any, cliche. Any port in the storm. The other is, of course, we're seeing record high water levels in Lake Ontario. Next year, we can see record low water levels. It's a lack of moderation with climate change. So again, we're reminding boaters, stay within marked areas. Don't start to stray because areas that used to, you think, well, high water is not that dangerous. But the problem is when you get into high water, those objects that used to be uh, visible are not visible anymore and could put you quickly aground. And you really do have to pay attention. I know with the high water we've had this year, some of the edges of the water here, some of the edges along the harbor front uh, are, are underwater now. Yeah, that's correct. And so you'll have to check with marinas when you're going in there to see if they have places. Some of their docking facilities are flooded to the point where Ontario Place break wall has had a lot of accidents this year. People have hit the break wall because it's underwater. Cosmo, what are some of the concerns you're seeing or where you'd like to stress as we head into this lovely weekend? Well, as the boating season progresses, we've had a, a huge amount of vessel traffic in the harbour. Just so everybody knows, it is a public harbour, it's a shared harbour. We have a lot of big commercial ships, freighters. We have recreational boats, including kayakers. Uh, we have sea dews in here. We have the ferries, of course, and we have tour boats. So there's a lot of people using the harbour nowadays. So we're just asking the public to slow down, watch your speeds, be con cognizant of your wake, because your wake can cause damage in that vessel. So we've had a lot of problems with, for example, kayakers flipping over as a result of people going too fast in the harbour. There are speed limits, and we are out here enforcing those speed limits. We're asking the public to obey those speed limits and keep your speeds down. What are some of the speed limits? Because they vary from depending on where you are. Yeah, they do. So in the harbour, the maximum speed limit you can go is 19 kilometres an hour or 10 knots, which is very slow. And that's if you're with outside, if, if you're within 150 meters ashore it's only five knots which is very slow it's just a little more faster than a walking pace so again we want people to keep their speeds down and just be cognizant of everybody using the harbor it is a shared harbor and everybody wants to go and have fun out here and we're, we're allowing them to do that as long as they're keeping this, their speeds down yeah i think people forget it's a very it's a very busy small lake really it is. and you've got from 600 foot ocean going freighters down to the kayakers exactly. i appreciate you both joining us yeah. today uh we're going to enjoy the sun a little more out here get a little tan maybe and a little Water where's the lido deck on this boat <laughs> <laughs> we'll send it back in lots more on bt coming up oh this is lovely